everyone. Welcome to another episode of Hawaii in Real Life. We're here at Jikoin Honganji with our friend Donna, who's Champu on Twitter, and her friend David, who's with the Okinawans. And um, I'm here because, as you know, one dance season has started, and um, we want to know what do we got to do when we go to the bone dances. I mean. I'm not Buddhist, but I like to go for the social aspect. So just wondering, what what do we need to do to prepare or fit in with, with your friends? <laughs> okay, well, basically, bone dancing, um, it is religious in origin. You know, it's a, a Buddhist event, and it's to honor your ancestors, basically. But um, you don't need to be Buddhist to come to a bone dance. And as far as preparation, you can just come as you are. You know, if you have like a happy coat, like she does, that's always nice. And you can get that from Shirakia, Manukai. Uh -huh. um, even at some of the bone dances, they sell them, the members make them, you know, really? sell them. Yes. And you oh can my purchase God, them I didn't know that. very inexpensively. And, you know, of course, that's going to automatically make you fit in because you're dressed. Apart, <laughs> you know? So that's, that's always nice. But like I said, you don't really need to prepare or feel like you need to have a full yukata or kimono to participate. I've seen people show up in shorts and yes and t-shirt. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Now, what other bone dance gear is there? Well, we have um, fans. Of course, all of this is not required, oh, okay. but helpful if you have. Now, you go to a lot of bone dances, so that's why you have all the props, right? That's right. So, we have Ooh. a fan here. So, we use that in Okinawan dancing um, and flags. And sometimes you might find them um, if one of the Okinawan groups are selling them as a fundraiser. Sometimes you, you might be able to purchase them. Sometimes they're even available to borrow. Um, I think maybe at the Waipahu Hongwanji, sometimes I've seen them where they have them under the Yagura and you can borrow them ah, for that now, time. What is the Yagura? Okay, the Yagura is the tower in the middle of the Bondan Circle, generally where the musicians are. So um, the drummers or in Okinawan dancing, the the musicians with the sanshin and uh, oh, okay. taiko. Good to know. Okay, and then you have, um, what is this? Okay, this is... Here, I'll hold, okay. I'll hold this stuff. Thank you. Okay, so this is a hachimaki, and this is something that can be obtained at the bon dances. Each temple has um, have these available for you, and for a minimal donation, you can obtain one. Oh, okay. Um, now, so uh, every temple has its own special, unique, uh, not Hachimaki? always. I noticed that um, like all of the Hongwanjis usually have a similar design or oh, okay. the same design. So okay. it will vary though. So it's a Hachimaki. Remember that. Because I know like some of our friends who are kind of new to bone dances, they're like, oh, I want to get the towel. How do I buy a towel? But you don't do that, right? Right. I mean, <laughs> so it's, it's like, for donation. You know, you're not really purchasing it, but donating to the temple and getting... Um, hachimaki in exchange and they're handy to have because in Japanese dancing you sometimes use the, the hachimaki I was gonna say towel <laughs> but <laughs> or if it's raining I use it you know on my head you know? ah, yeah 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 <laughs> so, useful very it's, useful yes. I mean, you cannot use the fan to uh, <laughs> blow yourself <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Too funny. That's now, right. you have some props over here. What is this? So, this is a take taiko. Uh, I'm, I'm actually, we're actually both part of uh, Young Okinawans of Hawaii, and uh, we are one of the bone dance performers. So, what we do is uh, we're, we play taiko and dance around the Yagura. And uh, we follow actually an Okinawan style bone tradition where actually we, you know, pay res just much like the religion, we pay respect to the uh, ancestors. And uh, on the third day of Obon in Okinawa, we actually dance along, we actually march in the streets. The Okinawans actually march in the streets and uh, actually chant and dance and play taiko at the same time. Uh, we you know, brought that tradition over here in Hawaii, and it's, it's kind of interesting here. We actually mix it with a Japanese uh, bone dance where everybody dances in a circle around the Yagura. And so we mix that marching in the street. Instead of doing that, we just, you know, dance around the circle and chat, hiya, sasa, or anything like that. And then we also have the dancers that kind of uh, dance around us. And then all the spectators come and join us as well, too. Cool. Okay, so maybe what we can do is maybe he can demonstrate to take us out. And then while he's, while he's doing the um, taiko, you can click this link, go to Hawaii IRL and see the rest. So you want to try demo some for us? <laughs> mm. Just we put him on the spot. music or something, play. <laughs> okay. 
So we start out with usually start out with some kind of a chant. So the hiya, 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 sa sa, si. Oh, it's athletic. So much like that. Very and then cool. the dancers are right behind us as well, too, dancing. And I've seen Bana. So if you want to see these guys, come to the Bon Dances. Um, you can see the schedule here on my blog and click the link at Hawaii RRL to see the whole schedule for the summer.